Veronica oh, Bruno's Culturess. Oh, Dominique, you look so festive. <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go ring some bells. Um, <laughs> so the two of you have been part of the show from the very beginning, very, very beginning. And uh, your relationship, I feel, is in this, um, you know, you're honest with each other now. Um, you're. It's in this place of comfort, even if it has a lot of difficulty, I think, at the beginning of the season because you've kind of come to terms with some uh, choices that you've made. But there's a moment um, in this last season where, um, you know, Naomi makes made a choice last season and Holden makes a choice this season. And I can't talk about what it is, but if you could just, you know, um, talk about where your relationship is in terms of that moment, because um, I thought it was one of the most important moments of the season. And it really, you know, it was one of the most emotional moments for me, especially for Naomi. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think this uh, season is my favorite of Naomi and Holden's. I think getting to this point in their relationship, like you say, where they're like, they're very mature in, in how they've grown together. Uh, the respect and love is now outweighing kind of the differences. And I think that's really important. And so I think they're able to address these really still very harsh, difficult decisions that they're both in these kind of positions that they are to make. Um, from a real kind of, com not comfortable, but like honest and kind of supportive place, I think. Um, and a very grown up place. I think that it's a very adult relationship. Um, but I don't think that makes it any less difficult or uh, kind of morally ambiguous in the true nature of the expanse, which is what I always love about it, is that we're always faced with these very messy choices that people have to make, that you can't ever decide are the right or the wrong ones. And I think that's also always their kind of um, challenge as characters. It's like, I don't know what is the best one, but this is how I feel about it. And this is how I wanna be respected in this choice. And especially for Naomi, I've always respected the courage that she has with yeah. standing by her choices and the way she articulates how she wants to be treated and respected for making them. And I think that's a real moment of that in that conversation with Holden um, that yeah. I also think is really important to the arc of the series and their relationship. Yeah. and. You know, I think for Holden, for better or for worse, Holden has always acted from his ethical core, the 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 intuition that he's had that he's trusted, and I think there's no circumstance in the expanse that that applies to more than his relationship with Naomi, and he loves her. And he res oh, yeah. and he respects her, and um, not not going into the details of that decision, um, he makes the only decision he could make, and um, and it's it's just the way it is, and there's, you know, it, whatever however however one may judge his his responsibilities to the greater universe, it's just the truth. And um, you know, it was it was a moment that we worked a, a lot on, uh, and really kind of mined that that moment a lot. And um, I was really looking forward to playing it this year. It's a very kind of unique and unusual poignant moment, poignant moment that um, one doesn't yeah. typically find in a in a hero journey. Um, but it's a it's a really lovely, honest, vulnerable beat, and I think it really speaks to who Holden is. Is that he's a He's a he's a man who tries to lead through his humility and uh, and his empathy, which has um, been lovely to play. It's a very unique kind of hero. hero. And the journey has been amazing for um, you know what makes the since it's the final season. You know what makes the expanse so special. You know I mean it stands out in terms of spe space exploration drama and the technology behind it, but it's really the human stories as well. You know and so going into the final season, you know saying goodbye to it and still keeping my fingers crossed that the other books get a third life. But, um, you know, what do you feel about the, uh, you know, where you're, how far your characters have come and, and what makes the expanse so special? I mean, fans? that's exactly what you said for me. It's the, it's the same thing. This, this beautiful depiction of humanness. And, um, you know, I always, 
I was saying earlier, like every time we release a season, it's always so timely. And I go to Ty and Daniel and I'm like, how do you know what, how do you predict the future? And they always said, you know, humans do the same shit over and over again. We have the same kind of cyclic nature of how we deal with things and how messy it is. But I also think that the expanse has portrayed that without judgment. And it just shows you this very beautiful depiction of how flawed and kind of messy we are. And everybody's trying to just do the right thing. And they kind of run off into the sunset with these choices and then the the consequences of that. And um, that's my favorite thing about the show, for sure, is this, this beautiful depiction of human beings. And I just... I think it's been done wonderfully and written beautifully. And it's been an honor to play Naomi in the midst mm-hmm. of all that. 100%. Yeah, you know, I think um, I think for the show as a whole, it, we've always been so privileged with the kind of writing that we've had to, to talk about these overarching important issues allegorically and through the intimacy of these characters um, you know, whether it's, it's politics or, or race or identity or, or even personal journeys of trauma. Um, it's a, it's been a wonderful privilege to be able to explore those with the kind of respect and sensitivity um, that this writing and, and these people that have committed to this journey have afforded, mm-hmm. um, afforded us to be able to do. And I think, uh, I think that's the reason why people connect to it frankly. Mm-hmm. I think there, I do too. it's a reason why there's so many different kinds of fans of The Expanse, is that there's something in there that everyone can can see themselves in somehow. And um, it's disarming. It's a very disarming story. Uh, and it cuts through a lot of barriers. And I think mm-hmm. um, it's the work has always felt important that way, which is, um, is really all you can ever ask for as an artist, I think. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been a beautiful journey and um, congratulations on closing it out um, so beautifully. So thank, thank you both you. very much. Thank you so and happy much. Happy holidays. Yes, we know, too. Dominique, that you're definitely ready for them. <laughs> Always. I'm like the Christmas fairy. <laughs> Bye. Bye.